All right, this is Brent from tradeguild.blogspot.com, and it is uh, still November 14th, 2006, and I have on the screen a chart of Selexa Inc., S-L-X-A, and uh, this is a position that we have been talking about pretty much almost most of the time I've had this blog anyway. So here's a, a weekly chart of SLXA, so you can just kind of see what was happening here. And I'm going to move down to a daily, and here we go. And I'm going to take these trend lines out. And basically, I started talking about this stock on June 1st, as far as I can tell, uh, looking back at the notes. So right in this area. And um, what I said in that first post was that this looks to me like a broad triangular formation. So triangular formations um, can work... Uh, when, when they're big like this, they can work as bottoms, they can work as tops, um, they can work as bases in the middle of a move. Uh, when they're smaller, they're called pennants and, um, or symmetrical triangles or ascending triangles. So I'm going to just show you a couple examples real quick of some recent stocks we've been in or talked about that had triangular consolidations. Uh, here's STEM. Nice triangle there at the bottom. And that's one of the things that caught my eye about STEM when we started posting that. Um, I don't know, maybe back in September. And another one is uh, a stock that I'm in right now, OCPI. And there's that triangle right here. And here's an example of a um, stock where the triangular formation functioned as a top. Here's the triangle in Archer Daniels Midland ADM. And you can see it's just broken down from there. And it is a return to try to kiss that apex goodbye, which they sometimes do, and just broke down again. So let's get back to uh, SLXA. The point being that uh, these big triangles often will function uh, as, as bottoms and tops. Let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit. So here's pretty much, I'm going to try to draw this trend line. Um, there we go. And the bottom trend line here. And there we go. So we kept on talking about this stock. A lot of people jumped in. One of the nice things about it was uh, the accumulation was just going nuts on this stock. I'm going to back it up a little bit. And here we are back in March. Money Stream uh, is up here in the top window. We have balance power in the middle window. Also on balance volume over here with the, the white and blue indicator. And then I have time segmented volume. So these three... Uh, Money stream, BOP, and time segmented volume are all proprietary indicators that you'll find only on Telechart. And uh, money stream basically works similar to unbalanced volume. But look what was going on over here. We, we had in March this little low over here. We had a new high made as uh, price moved up. Then we had another new high made. Then we had another new high over here. Now over here we actually have a lower price See, the price is, is moving down over here, and we have another new high in money stream. And then uh, price continues to consolidate, and we keep getting new highs. So it's um, pretty interesting that this indicator, way back then, was saying that uh, it saw accumulation. Balance of power was seeing accumulation. Uh, time segmented volume stayed very constructive, never dipped really much below that zero line. So um, SLXA in my opinion, was a triangular base, which by nature is an area of consolidation or uh, accumulation. And um, these indicators just went to confirm that. So somewhere around, I think, August or September, um, Warden Brothers rolled out their Snapsheets platform, which comes for free with uh, Telechart 2007. And Snapsheets uh, has all kinds of different indicators that you can modify and edit to your uh, heart's delight. Um, I like it because it has a fundamental data feed and I can chart out fundamental information. Now, the way, the way it basically works is you add however many indicators or browsers. Uh, you can link all your browsers here uh, and put as many as you want on there and then you just tab them on the side of the chart. So if I want to look at short interest, I'll just click on this short interest tab and here's the latest short interest ratio for uh, SLXA. And I just tab it back and put it back. So I have um, insider trading over here. And I also have uh, institutional uh, trading 
institutional positions, which is not always 100% accurate for reasons I'm not going to go into, but it gives you a, a general idea. So if we just slide the uh, date pointer back to this area, we can see we're about in March, and that's about the time when this uh, big triangular formation was starting to form. And we can see that the um, insider or institutional transactions went from about 13% holdings up to 34% in, um, let's see, that's still in March. And then by the time we get into June, it's all the way up to 45%. And then finally up to 50% in the August, uh, September area. So we went from, you know, uh, this 12, 13, 14% up to 50%, all in the course of this big triangle. So the indicators that we were seeing um, over here, money stream, time segmented volume, and BOP were honest, and, and uh, the fundamental data was backing that up. So I really like this LXA, and we kept on pushing it. Excuse me. And uh, a lot of people jumped in, I think, from our, from our blog, and we had a couple of interesting developments. As this trend line, which was um, pretty clean, was developing, we had these two days here over here where price plunged down here to uh, the $8 level. Now, I said, as they were occurring, I don't have an intraday chart of these anymore, but I said back then that I believed, and I, I actually did a post, if you want to look up, um, let's see, it was probably September 11th and 12th, somewhere in there, and I did a post uh, describing why, and I think maybe in a video, describing why uh, I believe that this was a shakeout. It occurred on light volume, it um, actually, supported back here in this area so we got support there and um, a lot of times before you get a breakout from a nice move like this you'll have a little less shakeout where they'll try to uh, knock some positions out and hit those stops so we held on tight i actually added to my position over here on that on that shakeout and we moved forward and we got our little breakout the volume wasn't huge on it now i was kind of surprised it wasn't huge um, but it's a little bit understandable, I think, because this is such a big consolidation. It's such a broad formation. Um, they probably, I, I would think, take a little more time to develop. And it did go on and develop. Now, the interesting thing about SLXA and the thing that brought me to this stock and, and that I really uh, thought that good things were ahead was look, look at the range of this triangle. I mean, it's, you know, shares from $11 down to 750, you know, with the bulk of it being between seven and ten dollars. So somebody was buying a lot of shares, uh, accumulating a big position in this range. So you know, it's going to hit ten dollars, and, and I think uh, what they're going to sell off? No, I don't think they're going to sell off. I think they they know something. I think they're waiting. That's the key to technical analysis. We're not uh, privy to all the information that uh, smart money is or the hedge fund managers or people who are connected to Wall Street. We're not privy to the same information, but we can see their footsteps uh, on the chart. So we can see them with volume, we can see them with those indicators, money stream and, and uh, TSV. And I can see it with my snap sheets. I can see um, if they have to report, they're reporting and I can see how much they bought. And quite honestly, they may have bought a lot more than that, that uh, they didn't have to report. So we're gonna move along and we're gonna see what happened. We got the breakout. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. And we had a nice little run there. And then things started to get a little bit scary here. It got a little bit ugly. I actually closed out half of my position. Um, I'm not sure if it was this day, but one of these days in, in this area. Uh, more or less because I just thought I had too much long exposure. And this was by far my biggest long position. So I closed out half of it. I felt better about it. I had a nice gain because I bought down here around $8. And um, also, you know, this was a little bit scary. I did feel, and I think I had posted that, that uh, this is not uh, the end of this move based on all the reasons that I explained here before about this accumulation. So then what happened? Boom, there it is. 30% in one day. Uh, SLXA, Selexa uh, is going to be bought out and... Um, you know the chart was uh, the chart was accurate. You know technical analysis worked. So check out uh, Warden. You get a free uh, first thirty days for free. The Snapsheets platform comes for free. I have a whole bunch of custom indicators I wrote that I'll give you, and um, check it out. Thanks for listening, and uh, have a great night.